I want to show you a picture, some pictures of a guy who I uh, treated in my last job in Philadelphia who was diagnosed with esophageal adenocarcinoma, had an Ivor Lewis for it, uh, did okay for about five years, and then on a surveillance endoscopy had a recurrence of the cancer, had chemo XRT with a resolution, but so shortly thereafter uh, developed a, a one centimeter nodule. Uh, that was how it was billed to me on, an, on a surveillance. So his third tumor of invasive adenocarcinoma, he did not want to undergo any other uh, therapies. He didn't tolerate the chemo XRT well. He wasn't a surgical candidate, so he was sent to me for uh, cryoablation. And in fact, after only three treatments, you can see that there was quite a reduction in the bulk of the tumor um, from the left side to the right side that was only three months later. And in fact, at one and two years after the initiation of therapy, you could see that the tumor really didn't exist intraluminally hearkening back to that early data from Greenwald that I showed you earlier in the talk. And you could see that he tolerated it particularly well. His PET scans at, at six and 18 months actually showed no change in tumor size and no metastasis. Uh, he started missing some treatments for a number of different reasons that were more social in nature. And ultimately after about 30 months, uh, entered hospice therapy, but uh, you know, really tolerated the treatments well and got quite a long sustained period of time where he could hang out with his wife and his family and enjoy his uh, time in the backyard, all the things in, in life that he didn't expect to be able to do when he was diagnosed with his third cancer. So I wanted to show you that just as a personal, uh, one of several uh, personal experiences with the technology in this realm.